What is up everybody? Nick back here with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I could really use the subscribers because YouTube's going to demonetize my channel on February 20th if I don't hit a thousand. So if you watch this video and you liked it, consider subscribing so you can see more like it. But today I have a very special treat, so sit back, relax, and let's learn about some chemicals. Alright, so first things first, don't try any of this stuff at home. Drano is meant to be used in drains, not in plastic containers in your garage to see what happens. And also, if you're using Drano or any chemicals, wear gloves. However, nitrile isn't always the best option because I forget what the chemical is, but there's some chemical that if you wear nitrile gloves, it will catch your hands on fire. You don't want to be on fire. Trust me, it hurts. All right, so this is some disgusting leftover chicken breast that has been in my fridge for weeks. Sad but true, it was forgotten. It did not get eaten. Unfortunately, waste happens occasionally. But instead of just throwing it out, I thought of a great idea, which was to see what happens when you add Drano to it. Now, hopefully nobody will ever have a whole chicken breast stuck in their drain that they need to try to dissolve with Drano, because honestly, I don't think it's going to dissolve it anyway. But we're going to see. And I'm doing it in the garage because I'm pretty sure this is going to smell putrid, and if there's any kind of spill or overflowage, I want it to be on my garage floor, not my kitchen floor. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so step one here, we're gonna open up, oh gosh, it popped, there's pressure in there. It's been decaying, oh no, you can see the seasoning on top and the juices. It's been in the fridge for at least two and a half weeks, so there's no way I'm gonna eat it. But uh, it really, really doesn't smell that terrible. All right, so now, we're going to add the Drano Max Gel. Now in some of my videos I use Drano, in other videos I use generic drain cleaner. It really doesn't matter. The sodium hydroxide is what eats stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be careful not to get any on the top part of the chicken because I'm more interested in seeing what the difference is after a couple days. I don't think this is going to fully dissolve the chicken breast. But I might be surprised. We'll see. So there, just a little bit more. Okay, so there is the Drano Max gel. Make sure you put the lid back on. And I'm not going to be able to do a time lapse because I'm going to leave this at least overnight. I might leave it multiple days. Um, I'm also going to put the lid on it, so hopefully this thing doesn't explode. Okay, I've got the lid back on. Just as one additional safety precaution. I'm setting it in this oil drain pan, and I've actually got another one, and I'm going to put that over top of it. That way if the lid pops off, and here I'm going to add this board, that way if it does explode somehow, hopefully it will at least be mostly contained in there and it won't go all over all my, my air compressor and all my tools and everything. So we'll check back in on this tomorrow. All right, we are back. It has been about 19 hours since I started this. I've gone ahead and removed the protective cover, but I've not opened this yet, so I'm really excited to see what is underneath. And uh, I'm also out of gloves, so I'm doing this dangerously. If you ever work with Drano or any chemicals, wear gloves, but I don't have any. All right, so there it is. You can see there's lots of foam, lots of suds. Other than that, the chicken seems pretty much intact. This cut in the middle was already present, and so is this one. So, you know, it's not like it's falling to pieces. Actually, it's pretty much entirely intact. I see the liquid draining out of it, but that's about it. It's a little bit discolored, as you can probably see, but other than that, it doesn't seem too much worse for wear. I definitely see some little particles floating in the liquid, and the liquid's discolored, which means it's breaking down something but I don't think it is breaking down this chicken. And that's because chicken breast is essentially muscle, and muscle is made of very different, much tougher cells than what is in hair and skin. Drano just doesn't react with it the same way. Now that said, if we leave it in here long enough, we might see it start to break down the chicken. So I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna end this video here, but I'm gonna post an update video later 
where um, I'll show what it looks like after a week, and then maybe we'll do two weeks and then a month, and uh, we'll see how long it takes it to start breaking down this chicken meat. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you learned something from this video, leave a like. If you want to see something else, if you want to see me do something else, leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you can know whenever I post and upload. And I will see you in the next video. Should I give it just a little smell just to see? Hmm. It actually doesn't smell that bad. It